Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the sum of this given infinite series. And here's our problem. Sigma of n goes from 1 through infinity, 1 divided by n times n plus 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this symbol. And this symbol is called sigma. And in mathematics, it means sum or addition. Now let's go ahead and focus on this series. And here I have copied it down. As you can see, let's go ahead and replace n value from 1 through infinity. So this could be written as 1 divided by 1 times 1 plus 1 and then plus next is going to be when we replace n by 2 this is going to become 1 divided by 2 times 2 plus 1 and this series goes on and on and now let's go ahead and simplify these denominators 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 so this is going to become 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 times 2 become 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 and this series goes on and on and now we can see that this is not easy to add all these terms to infinity so therefore we are going to use a strategy in which we can write this one this part 1 over n times n plus 1 could be written as 1 over n minus 1 over n plus plus 1. Now you might be wondering how we can rewrite this one and we used partial fraction decomposition and now let me show you how we can use this partial fraction decomposition in our next step and here's our partial fraction decomposition and let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down and if we focus on its denominator it has got two linear factors n and n plus 1 so we can write this one as a over n plus b over n plus 1 and now our task is to find the value of a and b now we are going to remove these fractions by multiplying across the board by this denominator whatever this thing i'm going to multiply by n times n plus 1 on this side, n times n plus 1 with this term, and n times n plus 1 with this term as well. So we can see that this thing cancels out with this thing. We left with 1 on the left hand side equal to n is gone with this n. So we can write a times n plus 1 plus uh, this n plus 1, n plus 1 is gone. So this is b times n. Now let's go ahead and distribute on this right hand side. So this can be written as 1 equal to a n plus a plus b n. And here we can factor out n. So this could be written as 1 equal to a plus b times n and then plus a. Now let's go ahead and compare the coefficients on both sides and on the left hand side. Since n is missing I can write 0 times n and then plus 1. And now let's go ahead and compare the coefficients of n on both sides. On this side is 0 and on this side is a plus b. Let's go ahead and equate them. So 0 equal to a plus b b and now let's go ahead and equate the constants on the left hand side is so 1 and on the right hand side is a so 1 equal to a so that means a value is 1 and if we replace this a value by 1 over here so we can see that our b value is going to be negative 1 so therefore our a value turns out to be 1 and b value is negative 1. Let's go ahead and replace this a by 1 
and b by negative 1 so therefore our this equation could be written as 1 over n times n plus 1 equals to 1 over n plus negative 1 over n plus 1 so no wonder we can write this one as this partial fraction decomposition and now here's our very first step in evaluating this given infinite series let's focus on this part and we know this could be written as this one as a partial fraction decomposition therefore we can rewrite this infinite series as sigma n goes from 1 through infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 and now we can see that it's not easy to plug it in these values from 1 through this infinity for both of these terms so therefore we are going to use this strategy so therefore we are going to pick an arbitrary number k such that this infinite series could be written as sigma n goes from 1 through k of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 and we are going to apply the limit as k approaches infinity so therefore our this infinite series could be written as in terms of uh, limit as k approaches infinity let me go ahead and call this equation as number one and here's our next step let's focus on the right hand side of this equation one let's focus on this part only and here i have copied it down as you can see let's go ahead and apply these uh, values for n from 1 through k so this uh, series could be written as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 1 and then plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 and then plus and finally plus 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1 and here in this next step i have simplified 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and on and on and now let's go ahead and open up these parentheses i can write them without parentheses i can write 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3 plus now we can see this negative 1 over 2 and positive 1 over 2 is gone negative 1 over 3 and positive 1 over 3 cancels out likewise all these all the way so we ended up with only one on the left hand side and minus 1 over k plus 1 on the right hand side so therefore we can write this one 1 minus uh, 1 over k plus 1 and by the way this whole series collapsing so no wonder we call it a telescoping series and now we can see in this equation 1 on the right hand side this part has been simplified to this one 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 so therefore our this equation 1 could be written as on the right hand side as you can see so let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number two and here's our final step let's focus on this our equation number two and here i have copied it down let's go ahead and apply this limit k as approaches infinity so this could be written as limit k approaches infinity let's uh, split them up so this is going to be 1 minus uh, limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k plus uh, 1 now we can see that limit as k approaches infinity of 1 is always equal to that uh, constant 1 so this same as 1 
minus limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k plus 1. So this denominator is going to become infinity. 1 over infinity is same as 0. So I can write this one as 0 for this one. So therefore 1 minus 0 is 1 is our answer. Thus our answer to this infinite series turns out to be a 1. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.